This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance provides high quality instructor led training videos for desktop, IT and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. In this demonstration, we are going to look at just kind of an introduction to the disk management tools. Now, thus far, we've talked about uh, some of the partition styles that we have, master boot record versus the GUID partition table. And we briefly discussed the disk management tools, uh, the disk management graphical snap-in and the disk part utility. Uh, and so that's, that's primarily what we want to do here is just kind of intro those uh, those tools. All right, so let's go to the start screen. You can type in disk management, mgmt.msc. Now, I don't know that I would, you know, do this this way necessarily. You can also get access to that from computer management. That may be a quicker way to go about it because you notice the search didn't actually pop up until I had the full file name in there. Uh, so the other option from the start screen is just to type computer uh, management, okay, and computer management and going into settings uh, and then you're going to have uh, some of those management options, right, and so you can get into it, uh, get into it that way. Actually, right click computer and, and go. All right, so let's switch back over to the disk management uh, utility. Now, I've got a, a few additional hard drives that have been added in. We're going to I'm going to cancel that for right now, but in order for you to be able to manage a drive, it has to be initialized. So this is the graphical disk management tool. In a lot of Windows 8 client machines, you're probably just going to have one drive. Maybe you have an additional drive. It, it's probably unlikely that we see a setup like this, but at the same time, we need those extra drives uh, a little bit later when we start working with volumes. Okay. So now notice these disks are basic disks. Uh, they can be converted to a dynamic disk, although we'll talk about the, the difference between those uh, uh, a little bit later. We don't necessarily need to, uh, uh, to do that right now. Uh, if the option is there, we can convert uh, to, a, to a GPT, to a GUID partition table uh, disk. Okay? We have the ability to easily create uh, volumes, right? so that's very easy to do. Uh, and there are a different there are different kinds of, of volumes that are that I'm able to uh, to create, All right? And so it's actually we'll just use this this uh, unallocated space real quickly to jump through the new simple volume wizard uh, uh, very quick. This is just a, like a partition on a drive. So we're going to use 10 gigs of space. We're going to assign the drive letter F. We're going to format it with NTFS. We have different options there. Uh, so NTFS and we'll call it our uh, data store, do a quick format, hit next, next and finish. Okay? And so at, at that point, uh, at, at that point that, that drive will show up and we kind of notice a little blinking icon down here and that's immediately going to show up as, uh, as the, the F drive. There. So when I go to my computer, I've now got multiple drives. Let's actually go back in here because if you did uh, install a new drive, one of the first things you would need to do is click to initialize the disk. All right? They would be initialized and you can pick the partition style at that point. Now they are all there and online. Now I can create items uh, within there. I can also convert these to a GPT, to a good partition table disk. And so let's actually go through and do that. Uh, again, that's just a, a quick conversion. In fact, it really didn't do anything. It didn't show me anything. Um, although you should do, you should have information backed up or do that initially before you install anything. There's not really a whole lot to it and that can be done uh, in this way as well. All right. uh, now the disk part utility is from a command prompt. So we'll go back to the start screen. Go to the command line and we can type in disk part. Uh, now, the way that disk part works is you can go list disk and it will show you the various disks and their sizes. You need, in order to work on a disk, you would need to select that disk. So we'll go select disk 4 
Okay, disc four is now the, the selected disc. And at that point, uh, you can hit the question mark, and the question mark will show you uh, exactly what you could do. For instance, convert uh, to convert uh, between the disc formats. If you're ever questioning, just go convert uh, forward slash question mark, and it shows you the option. Okay, so to convert to GPT from NBR, we would be just going typing in convert GPT. And then it says it successfully uh, uh, converted that disk. Now that was down here, disk four. Right, so we'll go and, and verify that. Still listed as basic, but now I've got convert to MBR because it was actually, uh, it had actually been converted via a disk part. Okay, so again, I don't know how often you're actually going to use disk part unless it's in, a, in an installation uh, procedure or using the Windows PE operating system. Uh, but this is uh, the disk part command line utility and it does give you the full options, as do the uh, Windows PowerShell commandlets. Now we're going to kind of hold off on some of these things such as creating partitions and volumes and extending partitions and volumes uh, because as of yet we haven't really talked about all the different kinds uh, of volumes and things that you can do. Uh, but that's going to complete this initial demonstration. We essentially have these two primary utilities, uh, throw in Windows PowerShell if you'd like, uh, and the capabilities that it provides. Uh, those are going to be your management uh, utilities when dealing with hard disk in Windows 8. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven-day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.